Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are continuing some more Elder Scrolls Online. But this time, I'm actually doing it off stream. Uh, we got some other games that I'm planning on playing over the weekend at the time of recording this. So I do want to uh, kind of make some progress off stream and try to finish up the final two missions that we have of uh, I Isle. So that's where we're headed right now. Uh, we're going to find Captain Kalen. Uh, if I remember correctly, the last time we left off, uh, they were about to, the Ascendant Order was about to do a full scale attack, and they thought that they were uh, being smart about it. Basically, thinking that everyone was vulnerable, uh, that we're not going to be able to stop it, and uh, a few other things that, like, specific things, but it turns out none of that's correct. Enough Everyone's still alive, and now we have the upper hand. Ever hear the so, proverb? Open see how this goes. While Khajiit takes nap. That doesn't even make any sense. It does when Zaji speak are tired. Good to see you, friend, but something is wrong. While you and Lady Arabelle were off, we scoured Gonfalon Bay for signs of the Ascendant Order, and we found nothing. Not even one of their damn pamphlets. They're up to something. I know it. They're sending warships to attack all flags is lit. I knew it. That explains why we haven't been able to find any of their knights around Gonflan Bay. The Ascendant Magus must have gathered all of his forces to participate in the attack. What do you need us to do? We're looking for a ship near its song, its hidden cove somewhere along the western coast. Hmm. The best place to hide a vessel on that part of the island is Jury's Cove, north of the Navir docks. Let me guess. Nereid's song is an Ascendant Order ship. You want to use it to slip past their fleet and rescue the Alliance leaders. Good guess. Lady Arabelle also needs someone to uh, someone to crew the ship after we steal it. Here, I'll mark the cove's location on your map. As for a crew, well, you're looking at your captain. As for the rest, I'll see who I can drum up. One captain is good, but two is even better, yes? There we go. Make that three. I can't ask you to join me in this. Come on, acting. just one more Nothing match. Space. Give me a chance to Looks win my like gold back. And what will you bet? Home. That ridiculous Let nose ring? Find another back. racket, Bragas. Tribute nice. for you. So we can head up all the way up there now. Um, I was wondering where the next location was going to be at, but w luckily we're starting. I think since we kind of explored the area now, we're starting to finally have uh, good information and areas to fast travel to and it looks like this will be inside a cave uh now before we head out let me check my equipment real quick i am kind of getting low on inventory space so i, I will need to be a little bit more uh picky soon enough but for now i think we're okay i'm still wearing my light armor uh nothing heavy or or any of that just yet unfortunately we don't have any sets the shoe of high isle huh i wonder if we'll eventually get that we really don't have any shoulders on wait if i go to this uh shoulders wow this whole time i don't think that'll hurt me though by putting one piece of oh, apparently we have heavy armor hands on what i did not realize that What's the difference here? That's medium. Uh, do we have a head or lights? Yes, we do. And that's not much better. Okay. That one's a little bit better. Not by much, but a little bit. And then I do have rings and the rest of that stuff we're okay on. Wow, this whole time I haven't been wearing shoulder armor, and apparently I have heavy uh, hands on or gauntlet. So, yeah. Wait, do I really not have a chest piece on either? Oh my god. I don't have a chest piece on either. I've been wearing the default armor for who knows how long now 
I, oh my God. Okay, well, now we know that. I can't believe it. So, <laughs> I guess whenever we have a chance to get some uh, new armor, then we'll, we'll do that. Or, or really when I find either shoulder pieces or chest pieces, I'll just equip them right away. I'm gonna stick to this main road because there's a way a way shrine coming up here and then we'll veer left afterwards yeah. I've been having a good time playing this game though uh, the streams have been pretty good. Uh, I didn't realize that, or well, the other day I kind of saw that now the of this part one of this series is starting to do a lot better. So, thank you guys for watching. If you are watching all the way through, I guess, into this one, let me know. Let me know if you've seen the other episodes because I'm, I'm curious. But as always, thank you guys for watching been having a lot of fun this year playing a lot of games that i've had on my list for quite a while um and it's actually been pretty nice because there's nothing crazy going on uh in life or in video game world like we have some game releases here and there but overall I'm having fun oh hello dear captain colleen was about to tell us her plan why don't you ask her how she wants to That was to a good seat. landing. <laughs> the ship looks seaworthy. That actually worked out perfectly. We just need to get past those Ascendant Order knights. <sighs> Always with the plans. Looks like the I Ascendant Order is almost done loading the ship. If we want to seize the Nereid Song, it's now or never. What do you need me to do? Cut the mooring lines. Start with the dock on the left and deal with any knights that get in your way. While they're busy with you, the rest of us will go around to the right and board Nereid Song. We'll take care of the crew. Got it. Once you've cut all three mooring lines, climb aboard. We'll do the rest. And don't pull your punches with those ascendant ordered bastards. I lost a lot of good sailors when the spearhead went down in their storm. Get ready, all of you. Once things begin, we'll need to move fast. Okay, let's go cut the lines. <laughs> There's one. Last night I finally got my uh, summoning ability. Try not summoning, but um, ultimate ability. That's what it is. I'm still amazed that the uh, the summoner class still doesn't have. A persistent uh, pet. I always thought that was kind of interesting. Now that I found that out yesterday, one of the reasons I, I really enjoyed playing uh, the other characters that I have, like the sorcerer, is having the imp or like the succubus or whatever uh, uh, other options give the word, there are. Friend, and we'll set sail. Nereid's song is ours, Lady Arabel. But it Excellent. also kind of makes Set sense. Course for All Flags Islet. There's no time to waste. Since there are some abilities that are illegal or would get you in trouble, but I don't know. I feel like there's still something out there that they could summon and be persistent. But you could also make the argument, hey, if you wanted to use somebody that has a pet that stays out full time, then just play the other class. So I get that too. The attack's already begun. We'll have to fight our way into the castle. Lead the way. Inside there. Dakan too. Our captain's gonna hold the dock. Go, go, go. 
Playing this game as a third person, uh, like open world game, honestly feels pretty good too. I remember when I originally started again. playing. It's just us, Valencia. Stand down. Oh, Lady Arabelle. Uh, hold on. The order is attacking the castle. Yes, dear, we saw. But where are the alliance leaders? Friend, let's talk. I wanted to get the alliance leaders safely behind the wards in Memorial Hall, or perhaps even spirit them away on the ship. But I doubt we'd succeed at that trick a second time. You need to find the leaders and get them to Memorial Hall. Another room. Okay. We need to protect the alliance leaders. Where are they? Find the leaders. Queen Iren was with us, but there was a great rumble and screams from below. She ran to help. Go, my dear. Make sure Queen Iren gets to Memorial Hall. Jakan, help me sort things out here. We must hold the castle until help arrives. Uh, but as I was saying, I remember playing this game originally, playing it in first person, and then I also, at the time, I was playing it These on the Xbox. Because that's, that's my, uh, not get by us. the time period for when this game released. I wasn't really on PC at the time. But I remember when I did switch to PC and start playing it again, uh, I noticed a lot of people were playing the game in uh, third person mode. And it makes sense. You can see a whole lot more, especially when you're in dungeons and all that. It can be pretty critical. Now, release the energy back at them. Tear this place down to get to us. We're sitting ducks in here. Ascendant orders ships in the log. The stories I've heard about Queen Iren are incredible. I wonder if even half of them are true. Stairs lead up to the battlements and Ernskar. I'll clear a path to the hall. Okay, we're running up there. So we got one, we need two more. I still really like how they uh, they've made this game more of a uh, a story game for expansions and it's not just like a new area and some new quests that I mean you can just play like that but if you also want to pay attention to what's going on you can so I like how they're still dedicating that time to like put in voice acting and everything else these the rats just keep climbing up Help me I mean if people are suggested or like down the line people find this video and they're like oh man I would love to see you play the Morrowind expansion or is uh, is there a Skyrim one um, I think there is but I'm not 100% sure but like if people were like hey can you play this expansion in ESO I'd love to see it then I would totally be down um, Upon requests and everything so if you do want to see any or if like there's any you've never played or you think it's worth playing even as just a suggestion like you don't really really have to say oh you got to play it but could be like hey you should if you like this one you should check out this one and I would definitely uh, be willing to at some point <laughs> I don't know I don't really know which ones are the most uh, like kind of critical or, or best ones that you should absolutely play like the story wise i've played the main story so many times and i'm i'm so happy that they've changed the style of, of how you play this game now i don't know how you got here but i'm glad to see you that ship approaching the pier is full of ascendant order reinforcements we need to do something <coughs> you and the other leaders need to retreat to memorial hall not while we're all that stands between victory. Good. All right. He went down. The door at the south end leads down to the dock. Keep them from scaling the walls. Uh, by how, what I mean by like the last thing I said is uh, for now, like the game, 
or how it is now is you can just jump into the game you're scaled you don't have to be like level 60 or whatever to play the expansion personally i love games like that where they make it the whole world is universal you can play whatever you want um you don't have to go in any specific order because when you create new characters it makes it very very tedious um now if there's backstory that you need for each one it makes sense but if you're just going in, like, step one, uh, and there's not, like, any backstory, or even if there is, like, it's minimal, then, like, personally, I, I really like that stuff. You know? The scaling has to be good, too. Like, I can definitely see somebody complain this being a little bit too easy. Um, and I get that. But I also am very low level. But that's kind of the stuff you have to balance at the same time. Like difficulty. Am I supposed to be fighting these guys? Destroy the ascended order ship. <laughs> All right, let's go. Also, seeing the new tutorial for this expansion was pretty cool in the beginning. Like, creating a new character, I feel like it was kind of worth it. Because now I can see, like, okay, when you create one, it puts you into an area and you can select with the, which expansion want to start now i wonder what happens if you skip the tutorial like does it just throw you into one uh throw you into the main one or does it like give you an option it's like okay you're skipping the tutorial we get that which one would you like to start with I'm wondering if that's how it goes Another reason I'm kind of happy ours, it, it is but the way it is is because long. I've we need created climb. so many other characters in the past and then I had to go. I've probably gone through the main story of ESO probably three or four times now because well I, I thought you friend. had to do it. If you're here, Lady Arabelle must be nearby. Now what does she have up her sleeve? If I've learned anything in my long association with Lady Arabelle, it's that she always has a plan in the works. Ah, uh, yes. The protect. Then we should make. Fills my heart with pride to know More the High King knows something of our Quickly, deeds. Into the hall. Use the medallion Use to enter medallion. the memorial it's the only hall. Way past the wards. Here we go. As much as this calls us, this is the prudent course. The Ascendant Order can't reach you. You think yourselves safe? I will bring this castle down on top of you. The wards of reach. Two arms. I'm trying to use this ability more often the uh, sight so that way I can level it up. And see what it does next. That nice. Was it, ah. right? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Combat starts and then stops. And the mini map shows back up again and then it goes away. in your hole. Any 
This shall be your tomb. Is he coming down? We can't stand Come on in. He's trying to topple the castle. I've just about had it with this ascendant magus. To the courtyard. Friend, join me. To the courtyard. Bring it on. Bring it on. Wait, is that him? Sorry, I was taking a, a sip of water. The called leaders of the Veiled Alliance. Prepare to fall. <laughs> yep, it looks like it is. Not today, Dufort. Not today. You will fall. And so is Isabel. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, I'm being eaten. Where's my chest armor? I need chest armor. Three thrones topple this day. Wow. Isabel is really going down now. Holy crap. And so am I. At least now we just need to fight him. And in three. Actually, hold on. Let me check armor. A chest piece. Holy crap, that bumps me up by a lot. Necklace, uh, maximum stamina, reduced stamina, increased max magicka. Maple ice staff. Yeah, it doesn't give any extra damage. Deals oblivion damage based on the portion of the enemy's max health. Iron gauntlets. Uh, it's a little bit better, but it doesn't give us the extra thing same thing same thing okay that i think that right there should actually help us a good amount all this stuff that i just equipped why does this put this into a selling area we have two companion stuff all right let's go and the Magus. And I am Cassus Plays. And I'm gonna play you today. What the, what is he doing? He's popping up and down. Is he supposed to be doing that? Uh I have a feeling this might be a glitch. Uh, sir? I do believe we're good at this. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I need you too. Are you good? Okay, let's try that again. I have no idea what just happened there. You only prolong your suffering. Okay, so he turns into water. I do believe we're good at this. And then he comes back up. I think that's what glitched. You are formidable, but let's see how you handle this. Hold on, friend. I've got something for that beast. All right, it's loading. Oh. Oh. 
That's cool. Not today, Magus. Not today. Oh no, he's down. God, man. Jeez. Really struggling here. When fighting challenging monsters, try bringing a friend use the grouping tool located in groups menu. Interacting with Mundus Stone will give your character a per permanent boon. There's 13 different types to choose from. I am wearing light armor, but let's see what happens. Should I, let me check this. Maybe one of these would be good. Let sacrifice, sacrifice your own power to heal you or an ally in front of you for that, but applying mana, uh, defile. try again now I have this food equipped the whole time so we'll see it seems like okay so he doesn't have full health right now he had a little bit lower health or we just took him down really quick but I guess we'll see This guy really takes damage. Holy crap, that lightning ability is like insane. And I'm dead again. My item's durability is going to be non-existent by the time I'm done this. Jeez. Uh, Isabel. Your service. Companion menu. 
Level seven. She's level three. Jeez. Do they wear regular equipment? Oh, they only wear companion equipment, I guess. Okay. Healing Grace. Turns out bursts uh, healing themselves a nearby ally. I might honestly give her one of those. Watching the enemy to attack them. Attacks four times. Used when the enemy is not already taunted. Let's try doing this instead. So that way she'll at least heal. What's this? Summons the power of the sun to defend themselves of harm, reducing incoming damage by 20% and granting a damage shield that absorbs up to that of max health for six seconds. Okay. Yeah, let's try this. It'll be nice once she levels up because then she'll at least have a few abilities to use. Right now she only has three, so it's kind of not that useful. There we go. Armor is draining me too. Okay, not bad. Hopefully I don't jinx this, but she's staying alive. And she's keeping me alive. So it seems to be doing a good amount. Now, I don't know if that was part of, maybe it was also the one vial that I drank too. Her health definitely drops down a good amount, but We have to More stop priests. him. I'll deal with them. He's drawing in too much power, but you and Emmerich together can beat him. Help Emmerich with those creatures. Now's the moment. No, oh, she's dead. Vegas 
falls and his minions scatter. Cowards! We cut down the Magus, but the Lord is still out there somewhere. The Magus has fallen. We will deliver the same fate to his Lord. Our friend here made this victory possible. Indeed. And they got us to work together. Amazing. Now let's go find Lady Arabel. Exit all flags castle. Here we go. We have made it. And with the Alliance, I admit I feared all was lost, as more of those rogue knights pressed onto shore. Then the castle's siege weapons unloaded on their ships, and the dark storm suddenly abated. Tell me, what actually happened in Memorial Hall? The leaders and I defeated the Ascendant Magus. We used the siege weapons and stopped the storm. I knew you were special the moment I saw you, my dear. The Ascendant Magus hoped to topple thrones, Yet instead, his threat brought the Alliance leaders together, and you showed them peace is worth fighting for. Take this with my deepest thanks. Oh, Nothing nice. about this peace conference has gone as planned, but the Ascended Order might have given us something we didn't have before, a reason for the Alliance leaders to cooperate. Can I ask one more favor of you, dear? What do you need of me? Lord Bacaro needs to hear about our victory at All Flags. He can stop mustering a counterforce, at least for now. Thanks to you, Count Demar's plan to decapitate the Alliances has failed. The leaders are safe and back to their usual bickering. What about the Ascendant Lord? Isn't he still a threat? I suspect Count Demar's defeat cost the Ascendant Order most of their strength. It will take time for them to recover, which gives us a chance to salvage the peace talks. Bring the news to Lord Bacaro. Then meet me back at Mandrake Manor. I'll go speak with Lord Bacaro. Lord Bacaro should be at Steadfast Manor. Do hurry. Surely we're done now. Surely. <laughs> use a drink and a meal. <laughs> of course. It must have been tough getting captured. Inferno Staff of the animal. Ascendant Magus. Point, That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to equip that remember. one. He's only a prince. Raise your hand if you care what the High King thinks. Inferno Staff of the Ascendant Magus. Thank That's pretty sorry. cool. Zaji cares. It says we have part of the Blessing of High Isles. Oh, we Zaji. have queen, two pieces on. That what? I guess. Did no what else? What other pieces we do we have? Battle. It says we have three items. So that's one. I see the Shoes of High Isle. Don't see that. Don't see that. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what else we have equipped, but sure. Okay. Well. Uh, for now, I actually think I have to go do some other stuff. So that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like on it. Uh, that hmm, episode was a whole lot faster than the last streams have been. But we got one more mission to go for the High Isle expansion. So if you want to see that, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.